Kia ora. How are you? Gosh, it's good to see you again. Something quite wonderful happened this morning. John, who I work with at the art gallery, left me a surprise pile of treasure by my mailbox. Which was quite timely, because I've actually run out of a few of my materials that I like to use. So, I scooped everything up, I carried it up the driveway. We've got quite a steep driveway, so it took me a wee while, I had to do it quite slowly. Came inside my studio and put everything out on the floor. I considered all the possibilities, all the things that we might make together today. And what I decided on was to do some sewing together. Not sewing in fabric, sewing in cardboard. So if you were interested in making something a bit like this, this is just an idea, then gather up some of these materials. You will need some scissors for cutting your cardboard, a needle, some crayons and some paints, some cardboard, some wool, and if you're going to use paints, you'll need your brushes and your water. Now, I'm going to tell you about this one first. This one, you'll see that shape of, what does this remind you of? Up in the night sky? A moon. And these four stars, very important stars for us here in New Zealand, that's made to look like the Southern Cross. Now the way I made this, to start with, was actually cut a piece of cardboard out of a box. Now you might recognise this. Yes, this very luckily was my Easter egg box. And it already had this shape cut out of it. Very handy. So all I had to do was get some crayons, colour in some red and some orange and some yellow, some lovely warm colours, paint over it in black, and then sit it down to dry. And after it had dried, I got my needle and I pushed some holes around the outside edge of that beautiful moon shape. And I threaded my needle with some yellow and I went in and over and out all the way across to sew my moon. And then I used my needle to scratch some of these stars out, scratch the black paint and it exposed that lovely crayon from underneath. I'll quickly show what I mean about that one, and then I'll show you this other one that they have waiting to do together. So I've got my needle in my hand here. I'm going down onto my cardboard, and I'm just going to scratch another star out. With a star that would be in the Milky Way. Maybe another one. One, two. Actually, I'll make that three. Tahiro Toru. Toru stars there. See those one new ones? There's a little bit of colour poking through. Now well, that is my first one. But I had another idea of something I wanted to try. And that was making a card. I like playing cards. Do you play cards sometimes? It's quite fun. There were so many games you can play with just a deck of cards. So I've got my cereal box. And I cut out this shape. And I flipped it over, just like this. Now, I'm going to make a diamond playing card. And diamond, it's like two triangles wedged together. As it goes like that, and then it goes like that, which is great. Very handy for this kind of thing, because to make that scissors, it's very easy. You get one edge, and with the other edge, and you squish them together, and they fold. And then you get your scissors. And you're going to come in at an angle, do a wee chop to there, take your scissors out, do another wee chop to there. Now, out comes that triangle, it leaves a triangle space there. You can open this up. There it is, triangle. Not a triangle, it's a diamond. You open it up. Now, see that diamond hole there? That is what we're after for this idea. Now, I've already used my paints to paint this card. 
I used white paint, I did a couple layers of white paint, and then I used a very, very fine brush to do the red capital A, and a little diamond there. Does your name start with A? I don't know many people whose names start with A. I've once known an Alice, a long time ago, she was quite lovely, she'll be a very big person now. Now, got that, it's dry. Important thing to wait till it's dry. Now, with my needle, I want to do some holes around this edge, and around this edge, and around this edge, and around this edge. So, I'm using the sharp end, I'm just going to poke them. I'm going to poke them in. I might put five on each, five on each row. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. Next one. We count together. One, two, three, four, and five. Super. You're a good counter. Let's do it together in Tareo. Tahi, Rua, Toru, Fa, and Rima. And again. Ready? Tahi, Rua, Toru, Fa, Rima. There, my friends. See those holes there? Oh, those holes are waiting. They're ready for us. So, I've got a little bit of wool that I've cut off that big ball of wool. I'm going to thread my needle. Now, if you don't have a wool at home, and if you don't have a big needle like this, you can do it with just an ordinary needle and some thread, and maybe not in cardboard, but boy, it's beautiful in paper. Stitching in paper, just magical. Do a knot, tie a knot at the end. That stops the wool from popping through. Nice and tight. Okay, here we go. So, to start with, take your needle, go around to the back side, a hole at the bottom, and you get your needle into that hole and you push it through. There it is. And you pull it. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go across to the hole that's directly opposite it. I'm going to push my needle into it and it's going to disappear out the back, so I need to reach my hand round. Pull that thread just gently, just like that. Mm. Now I need to decide where to go next. I'm going to go up behind there. I'm going to pop out. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to come out here. Looks like a good sound, doesn't it? A scraping sound. But also a swooshing sound. It comes out there. Now, I want to take this thread and I actually want to bring it down into this hole again. So all I have to do is get my needle and put it into this hole here and pull it. Oh, see that? It makes it a bit of a different shape with, with the wool. So I'm going to keep going with that idea and I'm going to go back to this side and I've been in the bottom hole, I've been in the second hole now I'm going to go into the third hole so I'm going to do that I'm just interested to see what it's going to look like I'm trying something a little bit different, I'm experimenting I'm sort of playing with it there we go so I've used one, two, three holes on this side but I've only used one hole on this side I'm going to come back down to that one hole, that first hole interesting. There we go. Now it's time to do some work on the other side. So I'm going to turn my card over and I'm going to go up to all of it's in the first hole and go up to the second hole. Push my needle through. There it is. Popping out. Wonderful. There we go. Now I'm going to go across into there. Pull it into that second hole in the back. We go up. Back into that second hole again. And then I'm going to go up. I'm making quite a lot of progress on that side. 
Oh, nice. There you go. Can you see? And I'm just going to keep going and going and going. Oh, I can see you through there. Hello. I don't know what you'll decide to make. I quite like my moon. But there's all sorts of other things that will be up in the sky that you could do. You could do clouds, you could do rainbows, you could do the sun. All wonderful things. I quite like my card. What would you choose to do? We'd love to see what you make. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.